He finished it and we, Sonny, me and Dale Sled were singing with us at the time. We worked it up, went to the studio that day and we waited till the last one. The jury tried to do four, four, four songs in a session of records. We waited till the last one to do that. So we had three finished and so I got, I drug out the lyrics to it and we started rehearsing that one. And, uh, <coughs> They came up from the control room and said, what's this? I said, it's a song. So, so you go singing? I said, if you don't mind, if you don't mind, we'll, we'll, we'd like to record it. And uh, he said, well, sing it for me. So we sang, uh, we sang Ronky Top for him. And he said, okay, go ahead and, go ahead and record. So that was the way we got a chance to record Rock and Dog. We never knew, uh, and I don't guess anybody else, it was just a plain, ordinary song as the way you had heard other people sing, and it was to us too, but it was a special song because it was a brand new song. So it, it went on and on and on, and Ralph Emery, if any of you remember him, he had an all-night DJ show on, on WSM. My brother and he went up there one night to just be with him uh, and talk with him. And so he had, Decca Records had sent him a copy, a 45, a copy of uh, Rock and Top, and the back side of it was a, a ballad, a love song. But somebody had marked out the, uh, the, the B side, was so to speak. They marked that out, so they forced Ralph to play the Rock and Top, which was the A side. So my brother was sitting there talking to him on the air, and uh, he played, played rock and top, and he had a switchboard that was about a foot long, and it immediately, just uh, every, every, every line on it was fit, was, was lit up. Yeah. And uh, he, he said, well, I ain't never seen you do that. But come to find out, uh, everybody wanted to hear that song again. That he was somebody there, everybody. So he played rock and top again. Yeah. And uh, it just oh, it started right there. It became, it is today, one of the most played songs that, of lots of people. And uh, my brother and me were very fortunate to get this song and sing it and then band record. So, with that being said, that was just a little story I wanted to tell you all. <laughs> I know that uh, lots of people wonder how in the world did, did, did uh, they ever get that song to, to record? And why did they record it and all like that? Nobody knew. It was just a plain, plain old song, you know. And uh, but it, when he when his switchboard lit up, he thought the thing was tore up. You know, but every every line on it was. Everybody wanted to hear that again. So it started from there, and everywhere we went, we sang Rocket Top, and it just became. Uh, one of the most popular songs that they are out there today. So my brother and me had a chance to do it, so record it, and uh, we want to do it here for you again. <laughs> here we go.
Thank you.